can see them in between the weeds here. They're moving here and there and there. There's a faint one there moving. Stud perch on the ice. My first. Look at the orange on that dude. Jeez, that is cool. What is going on y'all? We're back with another one today. We're doing some ice fishing in between Minnesota and Wisconsin on the Mississippi River again. Chasing some panfish, some northern pike maybe, and who knows what'll bite. But anyways, doing something fun today. We got a new tent that we're trying out with a little stove, a little hot tent action. Um, me and the brother-in-law are gonna be staying on one of the islands where hopefully where the fish are biting. So, so stick with us, it should be a good one. Hopefully we're ripping lips and having a good time camping during winter, let's go get it. Guess I was the first, boys! Suckers! Awesome, Just an absolute monster of the first fish. This is unreal. <laughs> A pocket perch. Little guy. Can already tell. Eater! Yeah, you're hooked kind of deep anyways, they're bad. They're just scattered in the weeds right now. All right, so we're still searching, trying to find the schools. We think we came upon some. So hopefully we're uh, we're gonna move some tip downs over here. And hopefully start getting into them. We've been searching for about two hours now. Oh my God. Jeepers. Finally got a nice stud perch on the ice. My first, look at the orange on that dude. Heck yeah. Sweet, hopefully that's a start of something good. Look at all the dead wood. Yeah, that one right there, that oh. clear bare one. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll pack it down with my boots too and whatnot. Alright, stove is ready to go. Hey, I mean, that thing's gonna throw up heat, but it's not gonna be like yeah. that bad. It'll be alright. Alright, here we got a nice dead oak that's been standing. Should be nice and dry. Not super thick either. Should be able to split good. 
a little rotted, but not terrible. Let's pop her down and see what we were working with. Alright, so my stove is about length of my bar here. So I usually just kind of go like that. Nice piece. You can tell it's kind of rotted on the outsides here, but inside is good. All right, there we go. Got a sled full of wood for tonight. Should be pretty well set. I got a bunch of smaller stuff too that I can use that's dead um, for starting it. But uh, yeah, this looks good. This looks really nice wood. I believe it's dead oak, but not good with my trees yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything situated in the tent, make a little log pile and get back to fishing. Thanks, Clark. Yep. I think I'd be staying for the whole freaking week. I'm over setting up the tent. Cutting wood. See it hitting the light here. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Nice ones. Yep. They're turning on. Jeez. <laughs> double, double sun. Dude, eaters. <laughs> Did you? Oh, well, let's not count that a double. Oh, yeah. Double up, brother. We're back on him. Good eaters. Oh, that was a no-looker. <laughs> dude. God. I mean, those are eaters, dude. I know. <laughs> Duster in. will keep drilling holes, brother. <laughs> I mean, there's just six right there. So what do we got? 23, 24, 25. So we got five more. I like them gillies. Oh yeah. Oh, drivers. I mean, they're just good eats. Light bite. One. <laughs> that was a thrower back. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Austin can take. We are one away from the limit, so we're gonna be choosy. Well, that's a nice eater right there. Oh, and the release. It was shit all day to last. Time. Oh, they're solid eater. Let's see it. Hold that baby up. 14. 14? Yeah, and you're kind of even shorting yourself on the back tail there. Shoo! Yeah. What's going on with that? About 14. Probably. 14? 14. A little better. A little better than 14. Wow. Oh. That's a big perch. That is a big old perch. Oh my goodness. How fat it is. Yeah. Sweet dude. Thanks for playing, bud. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Hey. Nice work. Oh. That might be it, dude. Think about your next decision. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you gotta keep that Closing out tonight with the limit. Hopefully we get in some crappies in a little bit. So cool, dude. Hey. Yeah. God damn. Heck yeah, there's a two-man limit right there. Took some cool pictures with the sunset in the back. Clark's still hammering them over there. We're gonna take a picture of our first two-man limit for today. So we got that on record and then see what tomorrow takes after, after some night camping here on the island. Hopefully the perch, sorry, hopefully the crappie kick on. Nah, I was like, <laughs> Hopefully the crappie kick on once uh, that that sun hits the tree line. And yeah, there's a the hard day's work. Took us a little bit for the fish to kick on, but that's what I talk about. Got the sunset just going down right now. We are gonna push in, grab our stuff, grab our tip downs, bait, and push in a little bit shallower for some crappie, and then we're gonna have a bonfire cook some venison dogs over the fire should be pretty nice tonight's only supposed to be like a low of 20 and the wind's supposed to go down so i'm gonna sit by the fire it's been a day it's been a day it's been a day admire our our catch for the day hopefully some crappies hitting a little bit beautiful little sunset in the back let's go go get that fire rocking Just had some venison hot dogs. Got a couple Pepsis. All right. Just heading into bed. Got the fire stoking. We got the bed all set. Got the carbon monoxide slash smoke detector ready. Like I was saying, gonna stoke the fire before I go to bed. Yeah, we'll see how the first night goes. We'll see you in the morning.
good morning, y'all. Didn't sleep the best. I think this thin-walled tent doesn't really retain much heat, obviously. And it got down to like 15 degrees last night, so I had to stoke the fire a couple times. Multiple times. Probably like every other hour. If not every hour, so. Not much sleep, but what can you do? Gonna get um, things situated, gonna get ready and hit the ice again, hopefully catch some more perch. We'll see how it goes. All right, decided to make breakfast quick, waiting for the day to get started for the perch. We got scrambled eggs, venison bacon, jackpot. Eggs are a okay. Bacon's awesome. Ooh, beautiful morning out here. Grabbed a few things, gonna try doing a little fishing for a little bit. First perch of the day. Back in the drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely one to your three right there. It's a nice perch. Start the morning. Let's go. I bet you Cody's watching. your eyes off my perch boy oh my god look at that beauty oh my goodness just a stud oh boy, oh boy nice one nice dude Oh, he's got a little beat up on the backside there. That's old blue. Nice. nice We're getting into him. Got a little pile over there. A little pile right there. A little cup over there. Yeah. On the run. Nothing, the weather, the fish, the, just perfect. All right, using this little forge minnow gun today with a 14 size treble. And it's been pretty awesome so far. Check out this beast that I just got. Oh my goodness. Just another toad, awesome fish. And another eater too. Fishing has slowed down after the morning bite. We uh, we did pretty dang good though. The big, big, uh, it definitely seemed like the big dogs came out this morning versus last night. So that was cool to see anyways. I did a little picking up this morning, but I gotta take this beast down. I wanted to let the uh, stove cool off a little bit while I did a little bit of morning bite. Didn't even use most of my wood that i chopped so that's gonna be somebody's good find when they come stay here 
So I'll do a little time lapse and get this baby rolling. All right, y'all, we got everything loaded up. Super long weekend, super fun weekend. Um, I actually got my limit of perch yesterday and today. Cody did as well. And um, the other people that were there did very well also. So, so now for the hot tent side of things. Um, it was actually really cool um, running the stove overnight. Other than the fact that he, that small of a stove and that thin of a tent material, um, that tent did not hold any of the heat whatsoever really um, unless the fire was roaring so I had to get up like every hour to uh, stoke it either way still a fun experience we we hammered the fish and that's always fun as well so good times another one in the books and making memories so thanks y'all for watching we'll see you guys next time